I'm Julia Blomberg and welcome to our third episode of Titan TV News for the 2016-2017 school year. We are the Pembroke School News Program bringing you school and community updates once a month. New episodes will air each month and continue throughout the month at 5 and 9 p.m. For our third episode of the school year, Michael Byrne, Ryan Antonetti, and Julia Blomberg visited Lila Lane, a street in Pembroke that really goes all out on the holiday decorations. There, they gathered footage of some of the beautiful scenes that were on display. Artist Spotlight returned this month as Mary-Kate Rosano interviewed a fellow classmate, Jessica Norton, and asked some questions about some of her paintings and her overall passion for art. 
I am Jessica Norton and I'm a senior at Pembroke High School. I've been doing art at Pembroke for all four years of high school. When I was a freshman, I skipped Fundamentals of Art and I went straight into Studio Art 1, which was a little intimidating because it had a bunch of juniors and seniors and I was the only freshman. Um, and then I moved up through Studio 1, 2, and then Portfolio and now I'm an art major. Well, art major is definitely a step higher than the other classes. Um, so you have to complete most of the other art classes in high school to be able to be an art major. And so you are allowed to use, like I was allowed to use wood burning tools and you can use things that other classes aren't allowed to. And it really just like steps you up and challenges you a lot more than the other classes do. Um, you also have more opportunity, um, but that comes with responsibility. So eventually I want to be an art therapist. Um, it would combine my love for art and like the medical field and helping others. And so I just figured why not just throw it into one career and do what I love all the time. So it's going to be a hard career considering I have to double major in psych and art and then I have to minor with some medicine classes. So it's gonna be like a tough road, but it's what I really wanna do. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, right now I'm doing a foreshortening large scale project on a three by four foot canvas that I hand stretched. Um, I did this at the end of my junior year and the project was also a foreshortening project. And I chose this because it's definitely eye catching and it makes people wonder what it's about and what the message behind it is. So this piece I did at the beginning of junior year and the project was pen and then whatever other medium we wanted to use. So I chose micron pen and then I went in with watercolor. And I started off with the skull, which I really like to do skulls because like I said in my other piece, it's really eye catching and people don't really know what to do with it. So, and then I chose to do a tree coming out of the skull, which represents like life being renewed from death. And then I did the serpent, which represents temptation and evil and how it runs throughout life and death. Um, well, art has always had a huge impact on my life. Um, I actually like grew up in the hospital a little bit. And so the art room was my sanctuary and was my place. And so coming into high school, it's a whole new world and there's a lot of scary people and you don't really know what you're gonna do with your life yet but art was always my sanctuary, like I said. So it's a place that you can go and you can express yourself and no one's gonna judge you. So this is the piece that I'm currently working on. It's very unfinished, but the biggest challenge is definitely the size and the realism with that size. Um, because when you're doing, you're working a lot smaller, the fine detail doesn't have to be like as perfect, but when you're working this big, the fine detail really has to stand out because of its size. Um, so that's definitely something that has challenged me in this piece. And also, since it's in black and white, the shading has to be perfect. So that's something that also has challenged me. Um, so to get into art school, you, you have to create a portfolio, which I thought would just be throwing all my best stuff together and calling it a day. But it is not that easy. And whoever says getting into art school is easy is wrong. Um, it's actually extremely hard and you have to create artist statements for each piece and you have to know the size, what media you used, and everything that you thought of during the process of making that art piece. Um, and obviously you have to pick contrasting pieces so that they would see exactly what you thought and exactly your artistry. Um, so that has been like a really hard process, but Miss Mata and Miss Massa have helped me along the way. So they've made it a lot better for me. This month, Michael Byrne returns to his role as man on the street. This time, he catches up with his classmates and asks about some of their favorite holiday traditions, as well as some trivia that may or may not stump some of them. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Oh, geez, I don't know any holiday traditions. <laughs> Decorating the Christmas tree. Um, probably sitting at a table with all my family there, because we don't do anything else. Uh, probably just putting up a Christmas tree. How are you getting into the holiday spirit this year? I'm listening to Christmas music on every car ride ever. Christmas songs. Uh, I've been blasting Christmas music on my radio. 
uh, almost excessively so, so that everyone around me gets the full experience too. Oh, so what I do is I dress up like an elf and I sprint around my entire neighborhood like all night. What is the best or worst gift you've ever received? Just a card from my aunt once. A coconut. Best gift? Snowboard. Worst gift? Socks. Uh, a shirt that I got from a friend that jumped out of my trunk with a quote from me on it. What are the traditional colors of Christmas? Uh, red, green, and white. Red and green. Red, green, and light green. <laughs> green, red, and white. How many candles are there on a menorah? Nine. Twelve. Nine candles. Eight. There's actually nine. One more for lighting them. What is the top grossing Christmas movie of all time? Elf. The Christmas Story. It's got to be Rudolph. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? It's not Christmas Vacation. It's actually Home Alone for the last one. It's kind of a big one. Can you name all nine reindeer? Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph. All right. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and uh, Rudolph. Nice work. I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell me the tenth reindeer. That's, that's, a, trick, that's a trick question. Olive, the other reindeer. Olive, come on. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. That does it for our third episode of Titan TV News. Just a reminder, if you are interested in watching previous episodes or any other programming, subscribe to our YouTube channel by searching Pembroke Titan TV. You can also get up-to-date previews and additional information from our Twitter account at Pembroke Titan TV. And if you have any questions or would like to find out more info, please visit www.pactv.org. Titan TV meets after school every Thursday in the Titan TV studio on the third floor of the high school. I'm Julia Blomberg. Thank you for watching Titan TV News. We'll see you next time.